Being able to create unlimited letters is the key to this solution. It's what differentiates it from making a layout for each letter. We need to be able to save as many letters as the users want. We need to empower them. So let's start off by making a repository for the letters and that's going to be done by defining a table. So we'll go into Manage Database, go into the Table section. Now this table wasn't defined inside of our ERD. Like I said, we didn't define everything. We're going to create tables as we go along, unlike when we do it in a real development scenario where we create all the tables at the beginning. To enhance the learning experience, I'll create them as needed. So we'll call this one Letters, create it, go into the field section, and we'll type in name. That'll be the first field. We need to name the letter. And then we actually need a letter field. Now I'm using the same field names essentially as I am over in the contacts. We have X name. We want to have the same names here. A lot of people will, you know, uh, amateur developers will go ahead and create fields that are different in two layouts that correspond to each other or even in the same table. It's good to have similar naming conventions here and, and you know, use the same words so you can identify that these are the same things. So what else are we going to add to this table? Well, I always like to put the housekeeping fields in here, so we'll go to any one of our tables and copy them. You'll need FileMaker Advanced to do this. So I Command or Control clicked them, copied them. Come over here and paste. Just use the keyboard command for that. Now we could put a primary key in here, but I'm really not going to use the primary key. I'm going to base the relationship off of name here. So we're going to come in here to Relationships. First of all, we're going to find our name, our letters here. We'll put it down here at the bottom. I'm not going to put it into the legend over here yet. What I am going to do is come over here and attach. So I'll duplicate this, go to letters, add on underscore contacts. And I'll clean this up later. I'm just going to quickly attach it. And I'm going to connect name to X name. Not every relationship needs to be based on a standard relationship. You know, primary key to foreign key. Well, we really have a primary key and a foreign key here, but this is not a serial number or some other unique identifier. We're going from X name to name. Now, the first thing you want to notice here is that we have an interesting new little icon here. This is the stop sign. This means that since this is a unstored global field, we can only base a layout off of contacts and pull information from letters into contacts. We can't go the other direction. We can't be on a layout based on letters contacts and see information from the con We wouldn't want to do that anyhow, but that's what that stop sign means. You can see there's no stop sign here, so we can have a, a one-way relationship rather than all the other relationships we've created so far have been two-way relationships. So there we go. We'll go ahead and click OK. Go into our script workspace. We're going to create a new script, correspondence. Oops, make sure I spell that correctly. There we go. So what are we going to do here as far as saving it? What's the best strategy? What you know so far is that we should go ahead and use a variable, set a variable to the ID, or to the, in this case to the X name field, go over to our letters, create a new record, set it in there, and then come back and then you'll have created that. And we can certainly do that, but I want to show you a different approach and, and I'll tell you why. First of all, whenever you go ahead and, and do stuff like that, when you move from one layout to another, then you're going to lose your context of what you have. You know, where your cursor is, where your what tab you have selected. We don't have any tabs, but you could. Things like that. You you lose the you know your context. Now if you open up a new window, you keep your context, but then you get this flashing that goes on. And I prefer not to have that. We're going to use a technique that shows you how to move the data over into another table without ever leaving. And that's going to be called the push technique. I'm going to use set field to do that. I'm going to come over here to specify target field. I'm going to specify the target as my letters contacts. And I'm going to specify the letter field. The calculation is going to be simply the X letter. 
Now in order for this to work, this is not enough. We have to go into Manage Database and make sure that on this relationship we have the option Allow Creation of Records. That has to be turned on. That's because we need to create a new record with it. Set Field will create a new record. It's pretty cool stuff. So we'll save that. Go and get ourselves a nice little button on there. I'll Option or Control drag it up there double click on it. We'll hit save here or find a, an icon that looks like a save and I think this one works pretty well right there. And we'll hit the wrong button there. We'll go down to our correspondence save. And at this point all we can do is type in here. So we'll call it DevCon letter. Now remember if we create a new window, go into layout mode, and go over to our letters and we'll make this a bit smaller here and then go back into browse mode you'll see we have zero records so when I click this button hopefully we'll get a record with this letter in there and this in there as well hit it go to our contacts you notice it's moved over that name and that letter now the interesting part is we only told it to move over X letter, but it did actually three things. So what it did was it goes, okay, let me see if I can go ahead and add in this record. Are there any matching records at this point? In other words, do we have a letter with DevCon letter on it already? No, we don't. Okay, then I'll create a new record. Then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move over the match field, which is going to be our letter name, right? We're going to have to move that over after we create the record then we can finally move in X letter into letter so it does three things and it and because there's no record matching it has to create that record now if there is a record matching it's gonna go ahead and overwrite it watch what happens I'm gonna make a small change to it hit save go over to our contacts two layout notice we still have one record and this particular one has the two at the end that's because it didn't it found a match and wrote over it can only make one new record is what it comes down to and you really only want one record with devcon letter on it anyhow so that makes sense so if we come back here again and delete it and then save it we'll fix our letter we'll see now it doesn't have in the two in there so that's great so how do we make our script work better we need to tell someone what if they accidentally name a letter the same exact name and they don't realize it and they override an existing letter so we're going to go into our script workspace, move this up there, put an if statement in, put it right, whoops, put it right up in there, and we'll say, let's see if the X letter or the X name field equals across that relationship. So we're going to go over from to letters contacts find that name let's see if they equal each other if they do then we need to show a custom dialog overwrite are you sure you want to overwrite the existing letter there we go we'll say okay or we'll just say yes and no there we go. Put another if statement in there. Get last message choice equals one. Then we do our set field. And then we're going to put another else here and duplicate this because if it's not, if they don't equal each other, then we're automatically going to go ahead and do this. Pretty simple stuff and straightforward stuff. So let's try it out and see how it works. We'll save all. We don't even have to make any changes, but let's go ahead and put one in here anyhow just to prove that it didn't overwrite it. Hit save. I'll say no. We'll notice that we don't have it. It's not it's gonna not gonna put that two in there. And if I do say to overwrite it, then this time it will overwrite it and put that value in there. And there's that number two. So this is called the push technique. 
I never actually ever had to go over to the other layout to create the new record. By virtue of having in Manage Database, having this option set right here, Allow Creation, Set Field can create one unique record. And if it finds a match, it'll actually overwrite the existing record. So you need to put in some, you know, some if statements like we did to make sure that it knows, you know, the user knows what you're doing. So you make sure you get it done correctly. So I'll go ahead and save that again. Overwrite it. Now we have the real letter over there. And if we really wanted another letter two with the two on the end, I could save it like this. And you'll see when we go over there, now we have two records, right? We have the first one, and then we have the second one both with different names.